Hello techies. In this session, we will learn how to work with list folder action, which is available under SharePoint actions. Let me drag and drop this list folder action onto the workspace. List folder action returns the files which are contained in the SharePoint folder. Before going to learn about these parameters, let me show you a small scenario. Let me go back to my Power Automate desktop tutorial site, which is available in SharePoint portal. If you see on my screen, I am having documents. Inside my documents, I am having Power Automate desktop is the folder. Inside that, I am having some of the files and folders which are available in this Power Automate desktop folder. I need to retrieve or I need to know what are the files are available or the folders are available inside my Power Out My Desktop folder by using list folder action. This is my scenario. How can I go ahead and get it in the SharePoint actions? That is by using list folder action. Let me go back to my Power Out My Desktop. Now, if you see the parameters of the list folder action, the first parameter is the site address the site where we are trying to get the folders details. I will provide the site address as HTTPS organization name dot SharePoint dot com slash sites and the site name I will give it as Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. Now we have to give the identifier. In our previous tutorial, we have seen the file identifier where the best practice is that we can provide the ID over there. Now, I need to get the details of the files which are available in the Power Automate desktop folder, that is PAD folder. So in our previous tutorial, we have already got the information about the Power Automate desktop folder details by using get folder metadata using path, right? And the output will be stored inside my get folder metadata by path response. I'm going to use the same variable over here as the file identifier. I'm going to select that. But inside that, I'm having the ID as an output. I am going to give the value over here as ID. Now, by using this file identifier, which is having the variable that is get folder metadata by path response, I'm trying to find it by using the ID. All right. Now, by using this, I'm going to get the list of files which are available, files and folders which are available inside my Power Automate desktop folder. And then if you go for the advanced parameters, I'm having timeout. So I'm not going to provide any advanced parameters over here. And the output of the list folder action, I'm going to store inside my list folder response. All right, let me click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And if you see, it is trying to get the metadata information by using get folder metadata using path. And then whatever the ID that we have received from the get folder metadata using path, we are having list of parameters as an output in the response, right? So the ID I have passed it inside my list folder, and then I got the output over there in the list folder response. Now, if we double click on that, on the flow variable that is list folder response, there you can see I'm having the list of custom objects. There you can see one is, the first one is the display name. I'm having folder over there with the name of stock market, right? And the remaining files are our Excel files. If you see employee details.xlsx, another one employee.xlsx, another one employee list.xl file, another one regex.xl file. One folder and remaining four are the Excel files. Now, if you see over here, I'm keeping the desktop flow output as well as the SharePoint portal Power Automate desktop folder. Now, if you see the zero record, that is stock market, we are having the folder over here and the remaining four are Excel files. Now, once again, I'm going to open the stock market folder by clicking on more. There you can see I'm having the ID of the folder, name of the folder, display name path if you see the path i am having shared document slash pad slash stock market and last modified by size media type 
and is folder if you see observe is folder it is true because of the stock market is the folder over here and the e tag file locator and last modified by now if i go back once again and the remaining all are files over there now if i click on more once again on the file related info by clicking on more i am having all the metadata information about the file in a such a way you can see the id name display name as employee details dot xlsx and you can see the path over here shared document slash pad slash employee details dot xlsx file and last modified date size media type and if you see is folder it is false because it is not the folder it is the file so that we can easily identify it is folder or not and then you have the e tag file locator and last modified by all right and now let me click on close now to make you understand what we have given inside the get folder metadata using path let me double click on this action now if you observe i have given the same site address and the folder path if you observe i have given shared document slash power automate desktop i have given the path over here to get the metadata about the particular folder all right let me click on cancel I hope you understand how to work with list folder action as part of this tutorial.